Hello guys, so it's been a while since I last did any of my photograph uh, showing off videos. So this one is from early 2017 when I first went out with my dad, there was two of them, so uh, I'm not going to just talk about the day like I did last time, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Shuttleworth collection itself. Um, so the collection opened to the public in 1963 and e further aircrafts and vehicles have been added to over the years. Um, events that encompass the flying displays and vehicles parades draw crowds from all over the world, so literally loads of different people come to these shows. Um, the collections, aircraft and vehicles are all kept in working order as intended, as much as is physically possible. So if an uh, airplane is typically made out of plywood, it is only replaced if a wing breaks, it is made out of plywood in the same way that it would have been made in the original period of which it was built. I think that's really cool because it means that we have engineers out there that continuously can use some of the older building um, uh, and engineering ways to keep our airplanes and stuff like that alive. However, one of the most important airplanes flying that day was the 1940s Hawker Hurricane with serial number R4118, which is widely regarded as one of the most historic British aircraft to survive the flying conditions from the Second World War. She was built by the Gloucester Aircraft Company and delivered to 605 County of Warwick Squadron at Drem on the 17th of August 1940. She flew 49 sorties from Croydon during the Battle of Britain and shot down or damaged at least five enemy aircraft. She was then, after the war, sent over to India to be used as a training aircraft. However, she then went missing and was found a rusted out hulk on, um, in a garden, where she was then returned to Shuttleworth where she has been rebuilt and can now fly. I believe she is the last airplane of the Battle of Britain that can now fly. They also have on show a 1938 Miles Magister, which for some years bore the RAF serial number of V1075. Its service career ended on the 9th of November 1942, when it was stored at number 51 MU at Litchfield and finally sold on the 4th of December 1947 for only £50. It has had a mixed career as a flying school aircraft um, and logbooks suggested it was damaged and rebuilt a number of times after a substantial crash in May 1955. It was flown to victory in the Magister's race at Bruxton on the 21st of August 1949 sorry, by Ron Payne and it gained third place in the 1958 King Cup Air Race with a speed of 128 miles per hour. The 1938 Western Lysander was originally built for the RAF as V9552 when it went to Canada in 1942 as a targeting tug for the RCAF. Post World War II it was sold to a Canadian collector and then in 1971 went to the Stathlin collection in Scotland where it was re restored in flying condition by late 1979. Purchased by the SVAS it joined the collection in 1998. It arrived painted in standard RAF camouflage with additional markings to represent number 309, the Polish squadron, while operating from bases in Scotland between 1940 and 1942. The 1928 Hawker Tomit was the last Tomit to be built and is the sole surviving one of its type. It was flown as a hack during World War II by Alex Henshaw of pre-war New Gold fame. By 1949 it was owned by Neville Duke who displayed it regularly until he sold it to the Hawker aircraft in 1951. They presented it to the Shuttleworth Collection in 1956 and it returned to Hawker Sidley at Dunsfold in 1967 to be restored to its original service livery. So with all those little bits of information I hope you have enjoyed watching and looking at some of the photographs that I have taken with my new camera uh, of the airplanes and I'm going to leave you with the rest because I, I was researching stuff I don't understand and my brain is going a bit funny. So. Um, and I have a Loki that's demanding attention, so 
I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment if you want to see some of my artwork. My Deviant Art page is linked in the channel um, description down below. And I will see you next time. Take care and goodbye.